Duca Ferenzi's in. In goes Fast Track, Thesme, Pale Blue Jacket. Brando's not too far off from making up the lineup here. Brando might well be the last one in here with the blindfold on. And when they zoom out, we might get an idea. Yeah, there he is, the last one in. In fact, they're off and racing. Underway then on Dante Day here at York. Brando wasn't the quickest to stride at all for the bet. Fred supports Jack Berry House Stakes. Fast track away quickly. Thesme on the near side, quick away as well. Red Baron showing blinding pace over on the far side, uh, being chased there by Desert Law and Normal Equilibrium and Royal Birth, a green cap, just chasing them. Thesme on the near side, trapped by Meadway, followed by Dr. Sardonicus. Then behind them in the white and black colours is Shamshon. Lucky Beggar is next. Adam's Ale being driven hard behind the white-faced Dr. Sardonicus. Brando's been held up for a late charge. Two feet slightly outpacing the green jacket. Distant pass under a bit of a drive. So too Son of Africa. An Arctic feeling who now starts to pick up. Over on the far side, Red Baron just hanging left hand into Desert Law. Down the centre, Duca Ferenzi's picking up in stylish fashion and races inside the final furlough into a two-length lead. Duca Ferenzi in front here as the end of the final 50 yards. It's all over. Duca Ferenzi bolts up here in the opener. In second is Brando. Thesme was third, followed by Red Baron, Dr. Sardonicus, and then came Royal Birth next. First, number 13, Duke of Forenzi. Second, number 6. Third, number 12. Fourth, number 3. And the fifth placed horse, number 10. The full result of our opening race, he bet Fred supports Jack Berry House Stakes. First, number 13, Duke of Forenzi. Second, number 6, Brando. Third, number 12, Thesme. Fourth, number 3, Red Baron. And the fifth placed horse, number 10, Dr. Sardonicus.